Hi guys, welcome to the mix. It is weekly roundup time once again, and this is the second weekly roundup of 2020. And indeed, it's the first, I suppose, proper roundup of 2020 in that I've actually got new stuff to show you. I did threaten a lot of this uh, last week when I went in far, into far too much detail about what was coming in. So you've had a kind of massive rambling prelude to what I'm about to take you through here. Uh, but this should be a lot more visual, a lot more show and tell, a lot more fun, a lot more for me to eat on your behalf. And um, yeah, it's, it's a kind of um, fleshing out what I went through uh, at great length last time and some extra stuff on top of that. So as I sort of predicted, uh, there was gonna be, you know, when it rains, it pours, because uh, we had a, a little bit of a delay and a little bit of drought of new things for the first kind of 10 days of the year, uh, they have caught up with a vengeance now. And you'll notice the Instagram's kicked back off again. I think we've done four posts in as many days. We've still got stuff we've barely listed, let alone posted on there, told you about and everything. So there'll be emails going out this weekend. I'll probably stick this video in one of them, actually. Still more things to list uh, that we've, had, we've got in already. And then we've got a huge launch coming up on Monday. Um, it's one of our old favorite, old friends um, brands there, so I'm sure a lot of you guys will want in on that. Um, and then we've got loads of deliveries Monday as well. But I'll, I'll touch on this at the end of the video, but um, this is, yeah, the tip of the iceberg. January, uh, January has properly kicked in now, so we thought we were fairly busy first couple of weeks. Now we are super busy. This last week has just flown by, and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to showing you some of these new bits we've got in. And um, yeah, lots of stuff, some of this you've been waiting for for a while, some brand new bits and pieces, lots of fun, colourful bits and pieces, things you may have never tried from the mix before as well, I'll cover some of those things. Uh, so there you go, I'll dive in, as usual, with uh, food stuff, so I'll make it quite fun from the get-go and make up for all this kind of uh, yakking. Um, I'll tell you what, we, we will, to, to mix it up a little bit, uh, I'll start with one of the sort of bars, then go through the Lenny and Larry's uh, Oreo style cookies uh, that did very well online, very popular, very well received post. In fact, they have been very popular in orders. They've been flying out. Uh, then I'll come back to another bar and then we'll get on to other things. So uh, yeah, just mixes it up a tiny bit. We like mixing here in the mix, as you know. Uh, so we're going to start with this bar here. Yeah, the uh, incredibly uh, eye-catching. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure... I love the look of this. I'm certainly not sure I love the name. So it's Rock Bar, and I did mention these last time, I think, but they are here, they are going out the door, they're quite tasty. Um, rock Bar is, I don't know, it's quite rock and roll, I guess they're thinking, and it's quite, you know, hard, sturdy, reliable. Uh, you know, it's, it's it, you know, when you're talking about rock, it's not a bad thing, like The Rock, in fact, that Millie mentioned in the post, the guy he, uh, he mentioned in the post, but uh, when it comes to protein bars, it's obviously a worry because a, a common uh, criticism leveled at protein bars is that they are chewy, hard, and in, indeed hard like rocks, uh, which is not a, a very favorable kind of USP to tack on to something like this. Fortunately, they're not like that. It's a sort of triple layer affair in a kind of carb killer sense, uh, but it's uh, very much an Americanized flavor not the, the carb killer, the bear belts, it's sort of European flavors we're getting used to there. Really, really nice, but we do like bringing over some of the American things a little bit more. These bars, um, as I'll show you in a minute, are along the lines of, if you go way back, some of you might remember the original Oh Yeah bars, the ones that were really the Oh Yeah type thing. This is the same as I said last time. They're very close in format to that. That was my guess. Indeed, they are actually like that. It's somewhere between the original OEA bars, so not the one bars, the original ones that were slightly higher calories, slightly more decadent, and yes, with candies in the things, and the one bars, which we are far more used to nowadays, which is the one gram of sugar, the sort of Quest Bar interior, but with an iced coating outside, big range of flavors. So, you know, the one bars, we've introduced you loads of those, seasonal flavors and the rest. Um, yeah, so there you go. If you liked the, let's say, SinFit bars or the Fit Crunch bars, uh, or uh, those original oh yeah bars, you'll probably feel uh, right at home here, and they are pretty pretty damn tasty. So we've got two varieties. We've got buried here. Uh, we've got a peanut butter candies one, and so that's a sort of kind of like really uh, like mini Reese's pieces more than M and uh, M and M's. But you you get the idea. They're they're peanut butter flavored as well as being a sort of quite plain chocolate, dark chocolate thing with like a candy um, crunchy shell in a sort of smarty sense. So yeah, pretty cool. Uh, and then there's a very chocolatey one, which again features peanuts. It's got an overarching peanut flavor, but this has a more uh, rich, decadent chocolate experience to it. And considering the fact that I'm going to show you the 
Okay, both of them are M&M, but I'm going to show you the peanut one on the Detour bars here, the Lean Muscle M&M um, &M candy bars. I'm going to go with the chocolate bar here. It was also my favorite. So I, I think obviously the M&M style one with the, the candies uh, embedded in it has been a better seller already. But for me, whilst that's lovely, I actually, I think I prefer the, the taste textures, the flavor, the general experience of this one. So I'm either way, this is roughly the same format. So shut up, I will show you that uh, here. So it's a 65 gram bar, I think, 60 gram bar. Maybe not the cutest one I've just pulled out here. It looks a little bit melty on the top. But, um, there you go, Rock Bar by Dedicated Nutrition. These are obviously a full-on supplement company, but they are dabbling in snacks. And this one, they've gone very much on the snack route. And the Dedicated branding is very recessive, actually. So it's just, if you can see that little logo up there. They've obviously kept the yellow and the black thing. That's kind of their, um, their style. Uh, but they've gone um, really out there with the bars. So there you go. Usual thing is a very kind of knobbly bar. I guess maybe they're thinking, oh, it looks like a sort of rock, kind of craggy um, in naming it. So it, the name kind of works. And as I say, they ain't rock hard, so you get away with it. Um, I'll bite that. Mm. Okay. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It's good to be back eating on here, guys. Okay. Hopefully you can see that. Mm. Double check, come on. Yep, yeah. so you can see caramel oozing out, you can see the milk chocolate coating, you can see me trembling as usual. Some kind of late nerve damage there. And a fairly standard protein bar core inside, but it's the depth of flavors that are pretty good. As I say, quite Americanized, quite an authentic peanut, almost smoky flavor comes through on it. Mm. So, not too firm. In terms of the protein bar core, it's actually not dissimilar to the current one bar, the, the later things from OER. But the other experience, yes, loads of caramel, the chocolate coating, somewhere between milky and plain. It's not super creamy, but it's in the ballpark. And then the, the caramel. Yeah, this one isn't as fun. I mean, there is peanut in there as well, I should say, peanut chunks. Mm. <laughs> ah, this one isn't as fun, perhaps, as the one with candies on it. But again, just for variety, I'm going to show you candies here. As I say, they're both very nice bars, but they are very, very distinctly American in flavor. So A, you have to love peanut for these. Both of them are a very peanutty experience. And um, B, they're both high calorie. So if you're going to be in the market for this bar, or maybe not just try one of them out of sheer novelty, uh, you have to be okay with them being slightly higher up there. There are full 20 grams of protein. That's pretty cool. Sugars, are low, but they're not as low as we're used to with many of the bars over here. Fulfill, Bear Bells, USN Trust Crunch, the Grenade Bars, so they're like one, two, three grams. These are, I think, five grams they go up to. I think maybe it's five, six. I think one of them's higher than the other, but that'll be the candies doing it. So this is three grams, actually, so that's perfectly justifiable. And I think, I think this one's five. Is it, or am I totally wrong? Yep, totally wrong. It's three grams as well. So ignore me. This is, yeah, quite legitimately low sugar. Uh, that's with peanut pieces. That's with candy pieces. Uh, oh, no, I tell you what, I'm only looking at one of the bars, aren't I? Yeah, I think the other one is, I can see the label there. Oh, it's embarrassing. Yes, vindicated. Five grams of sugar. So the candies in this one do add a little bit of sugar, uh, but the, the fundamental bar experience, the caramel, the chocolate, is the same. So that goes up to five grams. This is three grams. The bar itself comes in around about 260, I think. Um, 270, so it is slightly higher. So it's about the same calories as, you know, let's say a outright bar, uh, but it does feel like a slightly bigger bar and obviously gets more protein in. So still incredibly justifiable, but it is on the more decadent side. And indeed, it's like those old style oh yeah bars. It is uh, a more full on candy bar experience. But that said, Bear Bells for Phil and Grenade do a solid job of that at around 210, 220 calories, and the three grams of sugar too. So it's, yeah, horses for courses and stuff. It, it is slightly more full on in terms of the, the nuts and the caramel and the candy pieces. But either way, I, I'm very impressed with these because Dedicated have done Dedicated Crisp Bars before, I think they called them. And 
to my taste buds, they were pretty much the same as Bear Bells bars, and they were very dedicated branded, which was just not distinctive enough to me to think, I'll add them into the mix, because we've got a bunch of things that do, broadly speaking, a similar job, and I, you know, I, I could see they weren't going to go too far, and they added nothing beyond what Fulfill, Bear Bells, Grenade and stuff were already offering in that kind of space. So we passed on those, and obviously the supplement's not really for us, too full on for most of our market, and I have to say the, the formula's great, flavours not so much so. So I'm, maybe I haven't tried them for a couple of years, they might have refined those. So I'm not into dedicated snacks so much, but I do like what they've done with the bars here. I like the packaging. It reminds me ever so slightly of um, one of those brands you get in DIY stores. Kind of, uh, yep, I can't remember it. But they, they, you know, they make like high impact kind of toolbox chests and stuff. But that kind of quite stark, almost hazardy, is it DeWilt? Maybe DeWilt? Quite hazardy kind of yellow and black thing. And the, the block font on there, uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it is quite striking and it stands out. So yeah, there's enough about that one. But it's, uh, it has been well received on site. Again, very lovely stack photograph taken by Millie's that we got posted there. Um, uh, Thursday, I think it was, a few days back. Uh, so yeah, they're on the site now. There is no bundle for them. If they had a third flavor, we will go ahead and do a bundle. At the moment, they are listed separately, but obviously the more you buy, the cheaper it gets in a sort of standard pick and mixy fashion. Uh, and singles and bars, there you go. But they are certainly worth a try, uh, particularly this time of year, if you're not being too uh, restrictive about your diet or your off season and a bit of a bulk or whatever it may be. Um, yeah, it's a good one to try if you really want to get a sweet, decadent candy bar style fix. Okay, we're going to jump from there to something else that's, again, a little bit decadent and over the top, and this is something that always has been, but it doesn't seem to have slowed sales at all. Lenny and Larry's Oreo-style cookies. Now, Oreo, obviously, brand name. Okay, it is a household name, but they can't attach it to something like this. Uh, but, yeah, uh, sandwich cookies is what you technically call them, or complete creams in their case, and they've got a chocolate, and they've got a blonde vanilla. So the vanilla ones, less um, familiar, I suppose, but that's a, a sort of straight-up sweet vanilla, I mean, the fondant in these things is, is kind of identical to Oreo as far as I can taste. You won't really notice any difference at all. Like Oreos, obviously Lenny and Larry's all vegan. Oreos do tend to be vegan. You can get some wacky ones in the States, I think, that aren't. But by and large, Oreos are vegan and they're quite famous for that fact. Um, so it, I guess they can't tout that as a USP over and above the, the OG sort of brand they're shooting for here. But uh, they are obviously higher protein. I think they're 30% less sugar or something. So it's nothing to write home about, and it is a bit of a different experience, so it's not suddenly going to completely change. You might never want an Oreo again, you're going to have these. But from Lenny and Larry's, it's really nice packaging. I quite like what they've done. They're pretty good value. So I'm sort of jumping the gun here because I haven't even shown you the things. So you get a tray inside. Um, shamefully, uh, the guys, we, we opened some of these a couple of days ago to do the post, to obviously sample them, list them, and the rest. Um, they've all gone. So I managed to snag them with just a couple left. If I opened them, I would eat them. And I'm trying not to go through another whole pack of these. So that is um, they're 18 cookies a pack. So I'll, I'll bring it in. And you can see me actually eating the things. So yeah, it's... Um, something just collapsed. It is... Uh, yes, basically an Oreo, but as you see, it's been quite faithfully embossed. It's not embossed, is it? Because it's dug in. It's, it's kind of, yeah, the raised text of Lenny and Larry's there with the fondant in the middle, two biscuity things. What you'll notice, and I think you'll pick this up right away from my, um, my biting them. Okay. Well, you know, I'm a very messy eater. <laughs> um, yeah, it's uh, crunchy. So Oreos... Not so crunchy. They're quite cakey, the actual biscuit around them. I suppose if they're older, they might have gone crunchy, but that's far from by design. These were... <coughs> Choking on them. These ones are basically biscuits with the fondant either side. So you'd imagine they're a bit closer to something like a bourbon cream or um, a custard cream, like a bourbon biscuit. So this is why it breaks up when you bite it. The flavor's great. It's a very kind of rich cocoa thing there. It's not very milky, but then again, there's no milk in it. So uh, the cream, I suppose, comes from the fondant stuff inside. But <clears throat> yeah, I really am choking on it. Let me just pick that up off the floor as well. Ah, fail, fail, fail. Food porn fail. Ah. Mm. Probably a good time to open a drink. Um, <coughs> yeah. So complete cookie creams. They're basically um, biscuit creams. So <laughs> it's just the, the Oreos are unusually soft and these are unusually hard. And it, it's, I, I, I want to say they're like wafers, but it's not really a wafer experience. It is, it is quite robust 
It's, um, yeah, just biscuity, I suppose. But it's a very nice chocolate flavor that comes through. In the vanilla ones that we have here, I do this without knocking the thing over. Again, very cute packaging. Uh, but as you'll see, they are very kind of uh, blondy, um, yellowy sort of colored. So it's, yeah, more of a, um, a sort of plain vanilla experience. The fondant still comes through. The biscuit has the same crunch in there. They are sweet, uh, but they don't tell so much of the kind of authentic Oreo story as the chocolate ones do. Uh, so on numbers on these ones, yes, they are higher protein than regular Oreos. Yes, they are lower sugar than regular Oreos. Yes, they are crunchier than regular Oreos. But um, yeah, they're, they're good value. You get 18 of those. So it's in the the, um, the formed tray. So they're fairly uh, sturdy and protected in that. And you get, yeah, lines of Oreos all in the sort of traditional fashion, the same, the same way they're pitched uh, from the Oreo uh, brand, which I think is Mondelez as well. Um... And they are uh, six grams of protein for every two cookies. That's not that bad. I mean, because the, the cookies, as you just saw, they're not that big. Uh, so to get six grams in there, that's not a bad feat. I, I didn't actually compare that to the um, Oreos and the uh, protein they have in them, but I suspect it's about three times the protein they are. It maybe it's just double or something, but there's extra protein there. Obviously, there's good fiber in there too. A lot of the uh, Lenny and Larry's USPs in that they are um, all natural, you know, the usual stuff they've got on the back. Four grams of protein per serving, six grams of protein per serving, um, non-GMO, no soy, no dairy, no egg, well, duh, um, no high fructose corn syrup, no artificial sweeteners, no sugar, sugar alcohol, sustainable palm oil. Yeah, so, it, you know, it's, it's sort of, a, broadly speaking, a health product as well. So, yeah, it, it's uh, a good novelty from them. Lenny and Larry's, as I said in the last video, uh, well, actually, I, might, it was in, I said in the post, I suppose, uh, they have been around for a very long time. They are very popular. They're all over the States and they've done pretty well over here over the years, especially in the mix. They have tried lots of different things and they, uh, certainly in terms of flavor, and now they're getting more creative in terms of formats, which they're not all going to be winners. And fundamentally, the original 113 gram, the big monster cookies that have been around forever are still the best sellers by miles. But we've had keto cookies recently. They're still available in the mix, all three flavors, and they've just been restocked. In fact, that's coconut, choc chip and peanut butter, I think. There might even be four flavors. Uh, no, it's three flavors, I'm pretty sure. And the mini cookies that just came in, exactly the same as the others, but in a more sort of manageable size format, so exactly half size. And we've had um, crunchy cookies, so basically bags of biscuits. Now, I've actually taken them down off the site. They didn't sell so well. I know they've just looked at the flavors. I know they've just relaunched with sexy new packaging, but I'm really going to have to be persuaded to bring them back on. They were fine, but they were not the Lenny and Larry's that we know and love. They were quite a different experience. And they didn't need to be. As far as I was concerned, they could have been uh, smaller Lenny and Larry's cookies. They could have kept that, that soft baked thing, the traditional texture and taste and stuff. Instead, they tweaked the flavors, the, the, the flavors a little bit and they made them more biscuity, kind of like these. However, with these, uh, I will forgive it for the format. So this is a fundamental departure. In terms of those crunchy cookies, they easily could have been just mini, mini versions of the Lenny and Larry's cookies. They weren't. Um, I don't know why, it might be a technical reason, maybe they would have crumbled in the packs or something, but either way, I think that would have done a lot better than the biscuity things. So the biscuity things weren't bad, but it was just, it was more like a sort of, you know, the sort of packet of biscuits you might get on a rail journey from the, the confectionery, the dining cart type thing, and it was just, or, or you know, free on the side of a coffee, it just, it, it didn't really do anything for me to speak of. So yeah, I'm not going to rant about those cookies, but that, that's why you might have noticed they'd gone from the site. They were nice enough, but... Yeah, they ended up going out of date on us and things like that. And it's never a good sign when that happens routinely. So they've gone. But yeah, the, these ones uh, have already done well. As I said, the good value is like £4.30. I think we've stuck these up at for 18 cookies. And you can easily share these uh, or you can just munch through them yourself. Uh, but yeah, they're a nice thing. They'd be a nice gift or something as well. And I was actually very impressed with the packaging and the nice finish to the wrapper and everything. So yeah, Lenny and Larry's done. I've been through that one enough. <laughs> Next one, final one bar. I'm going to show you this is a brand we have had on and off in the mix before, so it's Detour. I was personally a big fan of a lot of their bars in North America, and I think in the past they've had a lot more bars and some really nice decadent ones that I used to buy in Canada all the time. Over here we've always had limited access to them, and the, the bars that have made it over have been the slightly quirky weird ones. So we had some like natural bars from them that weren't so good. We have had some lean muscle ones in the past, but not enough of them to establish the range and to actually make it exciting for you guys and to make it take off. So yeah, for a long, long time, many years, not really had a decent range of them. And uh, yeah, the, the, the fuller sort of um, 
selection has never made it over from the States. Anyway, one thing we had to get, I've had that upside down, uh, was the authentic, and because this is really unique, authentic M&M candy collab bar flavor variety things from them. So there's two flavors of these, just launched them online now, so on the Saturday the post went up. We've got a chocolate candy crunch, and we've got a peanut butter chocolate candy crunch, I guess. So again, fundamentally the same base shed between them, but one of them is stuffed full of peanuts, as well as being adorned by the uh, mini M&M's candy. As I say, these are authentic, right? So these are, I put some shakers on the floor because I've run out of space there and I keep catching the mic. <clears throat> as you will see, actual M&M's, I'll show you in a minute the real deal. Um, but yeah, with the real brand on it, I don't know how they managed to get uh, the official sign-off on this one. It's not easy to do. I know certainly uh, via Ghost, so doing the, the Warheads, the Welches, the uh, Sour Patch Kids, the Swedish Fish, everything that Dan at Ghost goes through doing the authentic flavor collabs, real nightmare to set up. So in terms of a confectionery product to allow this protein bar company, and they're only a protein bar company, to do this tie-up, yeah, I don't know how they swung it, but very, very cool indeed. And I think it's paid off because you can tail their M&Ms. Uh, let's just open these anyway. As I said, I'm going to open the peanut one of these for this one. We also have, yeah, the chocolate candy, uh, and the fundamental format is the same. These are lower calorie than the other things, so let's do that one bit first before I forget. This is a 250 calorie one. The other one is, I think, 210 or 220. I've not really done my research properly. <coughs> Oh, God, it's probably on the underside, isn't it? I'm pretty sure the other one's lower calorie, like 210, I want to say. And, um, yeah, 14 grams of protein. These are kind of flapjacks more than they are bars. You could call them oat bars, I suppose. Oh, sorry, whittering on instead of actually showing you. We'll do that. Can I grab another one? Yeah, go on. Take it out of my display. So, there's your bar. And... Doo -doo 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 -doo. This is what you've got. So we can actually see an M&M on there, too. You can see exactly what we're working with. Quite generous with these things here. So tiny little M&M candies. Boom. And if you zoom in there so I can get it to actually focus, you'll see it's real deal M&Ms because it's got the little M there, the iconic M&M M. So yeah, these are kind of milk chocolate um, with a uh, hardened candy shell. So I think they're 100%, you'll think, they're not like low sugar versions or anything weird like that. Uh, so you know you're gonna enjoy these. And as you'll see on the bar itself, it's very oaty. So lots of big jumbo oats bedded in there. And it's got a um, kind of underside or sort of 50% dipped in chocolate. Mm. There you go. So absolutely nothing to show in terms of caramel, but what I wanna point out, this one in particular, it's got peanuts in it too. So big dry roasted peanut um, chunks are throughout this bar, along with the jumbo oats, along with the candies on top, and the milk chocolate on the side. Yeah, just yeah, there's a lot going for this. Nutritionally, yes, it's not quite on a par with the slightly more functional snacks we have, but for a flapjack style bar there with real peanuts in, real jumbo oats, real M&M candies, yeah, it puts it kind of in outright bar territory, and it, it tastes a lot more satisfying, a lot more, tastes a lot more real, it feels a lot more satisfying, and um, yeah, the calories aren't that bad either. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So, why wow, is that gluten-free? I don't know if it is. That'd be cool if it is. No, they're gluten-free organic rolled oats. Very cool. Protein blend is whey, calcium cassinate, hydrolyzed whey. So protein all comes from whey, so there's a good quality source there. Dry ro roasted peanuts with spices, very cool. Chocolate coating, M&M minis. It's actually got peanut uh, in the base as well, so that explains the higher calories there. So I think the fats on these one, on this particular bar jumps up, but that's so nice. So this is our favorite one. Favorite? <laughs> this is our favorite one of these. And the chocolate candy, just the same, without the peanut infusion, without the peanut uh, chunks in there, and it's still got the candies on top. The textures are a little bit different between them, uh, so we found this one a little bit softer. I guess because they're more chunks from the peanut, it's quicker to break up and everything. But it is quite a flapjacky experience. It does it does hold together. It's like if you make flapjacks at home. I guess you want to. It's a bit of a chew to it, but it's obviously the oats in there too, so it's far from unpleasant. I think it's by design with these bars, and uh, the candies on top. 
bursts of really authentic kind of sugar uh, flavor that goes through. So yeah, I'd say the, the sugars aren't too bad. It was six grams of sugar in this one. And I think it is eight grams of sugar in the other one. So I, I guess this one balances sugar a little bit with the fats in there. So the peanuts probably make up for some of it while the other one, they sweeten a little bit extra. I think that that's the difference in doing it. They're, all, they're both 10 gram, less than 10 grams of sugar, 250 calories or less. And um, yeah, the 14 grams of proteins uh, consistent across the bars. So M&M, authentic collab with Detour Bar there, crunchy candy things, very cool. Slightly different candy bar experience to the dedicated bars here, to the rock bars, uh, but still very, very nice indeed. So the other thing I was gonna say is we've had these very recently, actually you might remember them from before Christmas, the Muscle Farm candies. Now these guys are obviously basically going for the M&M style things that are on here. So there is a flavor difference between them. These are perfectly nice, but they've got a slight um, pea protein overtone you can notice. There is, there is a pea component in the, the filling of these things. That's how they got the protein in there. So yeah, not unpleasant at all, incredibly Moorish, and these have done very well, but you know the real deal and this is the real deal. <coughs> so thank you, uh, Detour Bar, for making those. God knows what else they're doing with that at all, and we were incredibly lucky to get these. We didn't actually get that many. We may not even be able to get more, so uh, I suggest you jump on and try those. I know they've been very popular already since putting the thing on there, um, and we'll see. If, if they, because I, I was on the fence whether or not people would go for it because the macros aren't stellar, but the M&M thing, I, that is quite a pull, and it does taste good. So we, we will see. I, I did pull my punches in terms of bringing these in, uh, so if you love them, then I'll, I'll chase up more and everything. But Pretty cool, a nice, slightly uh, slightly different one to launch for this week as well. So you might notice here, uh, I'll jump onto something else, Alani New Energy. So I did promise we were getting these cans in soon. Uh, they are coming back end of February, let's say early March to be sure. Uh, but let's say for the spring, they'll be here, they'll be here in force. I think, yeah, nine flavors maybe. And all the flavors map over to the flavors in the pre-workouts wonderfully. So I, it, it's, it's a good way to upsell them, I suppose, because you have the drinks, easy to enjoy, you get used to the flavoring systems, you, you realize how good they are, and they genuinely, the, the Alani new flavoring systems across the board are epic. Um, and then you can upgrade to the pre-workout, which is a lovely pre-workout and something I'll, I'll maybe touch on in a minute. Of course, I'm waving at this. This isn't the pre-workout, that is the super greens, which I'm gonna touch on too, but we'll, we'll do that now. So uh, this is the Arctic white flavor, that is, this bad boy here. So Arctic White is basically themed after a white monster. So everyone loves those. It's yeah, by far the most popular kind of monster ultra out there. A lot of people have tried to copy it. This is their take on it in pre-workout and indeed energy drink form. Mm. Ah, yep, I'll bring it in anyway. I mean, to my taste, it's closer to maybe the white 3D than it is to the uh, monster ultra. It's, it's a, more, a slightly more um, full rounded, sweet experience than the Monster Ultra, which is a tad crisper, but yeah, really nice one, we're holding it there. So these are great drinks, about 200 milligrams of caffeine in there in a smaller format. It's got um, a little bit of, I think, added biotin as well, 10 calories a serving. So there's a little bit of a health angle to it too. Simple, fun and unique flavors. Yeah, great product, yes, vegan, gluten-free and the rest. So very cool. And this is keeping me going into this Saturday evening as I do this epic video for you. Where am I at? Oh, about half an hour. So <laughs> uh, still got a fair bit to get through, but I guess the fun stuff I've covered. So a lot of you guys want to bail right now. It's, it's probably not a bad time. But if you want to stick around, thank you. Um, okay. Mm. Yeah, you're going to love these when they come. I promise, for that. Um, I promise you that. And let's touch on Alani briefly now. So we did get the restock I mentioned last week so the video i shot on the saturday and they, they did all turn up on the monday so that's cool we got let's move this here for now stay um yeah in terms of the whey protein we got back the uh confetti what do they call it confetti cake so this is their um wonderful great nutritionals on it and everything whey protein that we love i don't know if you can really see it on the camera there so we can get a shot of it yeah, throughout. I mean, yeah, you can see how it's all sprinkled on the label. They've actually carried that through to the powder and the, the whole thing's full of sprinkles as well, which is great fun. So yeah, it's a, it's a great protein powder in that it's made with, um, it is more isolate than it is concentrate basically. So very refined, very, very low gastro distress type thing um, and mixes very uh, well as well. And um, yes, yeah, so 110 calories, one fat, three carb, one gram of sugar, 23 grams of protein, and they've got uh, Vita Cherry added as well. 
Um, so yeah, it's a very complete product, despite looking like a sort of uh, <laughs> dinky, almost pocket-sized whey protein tub. You do get a full 30 servings in here, so it is not the cheapest whey protein we do, and we do already some expensive whey protein, especially in the two-pound tub size, but you do get a couple of extra servings, a few extra servings, uh, than you would do with many of the two-pound protein uh, tubs, which tend to be more like 25, 26, 27, 28 servings. Um, and uh, the, uh, pro uh, yeah, the, the purity of the protein source as well. It means it's actually not as scary as it looks like, and it does taste amazing. So we got this one back, we got the fruity cereal, we've got the blueberry muffin, we have got the um, classic chocolate, and I think there's one other as well. Yes, peanut butter brownie, can't forget that one, that's really good. Um, that's fine, we've had way on and off uh, over the last few weeks since it got smashed on Pink Friday. The one I was really desperate to get back in, and I foolishly did not grab to show you, but then again, there's not a huge amount to see, is the, uh, the vegan. So there are technically two flavors. There's a fruity cereal and there's a straight up chocolate. The fruity cereal has been out of stock with Alani New in the States for a long time. We're waiting for that one to come back. Uh, but the straight up chocolate, we did get back in and this has been very well received. And it is, uh, well, for January and the rest, we're flying through vegan things right now. Uh, but we had a lot of requests for that one on site. People are always looking for good uh, flavored vegan things. And this one mixes really well. It's not too sweet for a vegan protein. Obviously minimal distress and the rest of it. Great ingredients. As with all their stuff, good mixed source protein blend, including the watermelon seed that ghosts like to use with their popular ghost vegan. Um, and yeah, that's on site now. And you can choose it, as I promised, in the various bundles we have for Alani Nu, where you will also get this shaker. Well, not specifically this one, but you can actually choose your color of shaker. There's a whole load of cute ones there. Nice shakers with sort of blender bottles, blender balls inside. They're not actually blender bottle, but it's, it's that kind of style. So you get the loop and there's the shake in there and they're good sturdy things. Um, and we have done, I need to make more bundles, we've run out of time. I did, as promised, the pre-workout stack. So that's where you get the um, pump here, which is a great pump product with not only the sort of usual ingredients, the nitric oxide ingredients you're used to, but it's actually got um, some uh, cognitive ingredients too. So uh, nootropic, mental focus type stuff. So if you're avoiding stimulants and you just want to take this, you will get a, you know, beyond just a kind of um, narcissistic sort of pump experience, you will actually get a slight mental component. It'll actually raise your mood a little bit and help you get through your workout. So it is more of a well-rounded one. And um, with the pre-workout, obviously it has pump ingredients as well already. It's already got the citrulline and stuff in there. This just adds more glycer pump as well, glycer pump. Um, and yeah, estrogen for absorption. Ghost are big fans of that. Great ingredient that more and more companies are putting in there too. Um, yeah, but I've done a stack for that on site. So I think you say five or 10% or something and you get the free shaker, which is pretty cool. And there is a, ooh, there's a pre and post stack. So you get the pre-workout, which can be pre with the caffeine and the rest of it, the sort of full experience, uh, or it could be pump. Uh, so the stim free one, slight mental component. There's just one flavor at the moment, annoyingly. Uh, but yeah, it's a nice one. Black cherry. We'll get the mango sorbet back when we can. Um, and you get to choose a protein. And again, this doesn't have to be whey. This can be the vegan as well. So that back down there. Alani is back in and you'll be hearing from um, us more about that one as... Uh, we go into the new year. Obviously, we're building up with the drinks coming, uh, but the, the products are fantastic. It's just they, they're, they're hugely well known in the States. It's just a case of balancing that out here in the UK. And we'll be focusing on mainly their sports nutrition bits here. But we've got one or two bits of their wellness ones. So they're super greens. Bring that in very quickly. Greens, you're thinking, why the hell are protein pick and mix doing greens? I do ask myself the same question, uh, but uh, as I think I've touched on before with this one, I've actually found myself in the market for these sort of products. I don't know if it's because I'm getting on in my 30s or I'm not sleeping enough and it's finally taking its toll or God knows what, but I, I do find myself sort of idly thinking, you know, maybe I should actually bolster my diet uh, with something like this. And once upon a time, I, the concept of drinking greens powder made me want to throw up. Uh, actually, the more I try these things, like the Alani one included, they're actually quite pleasant. I mean, it's like vegan protein powder. You sort of have to retune your taste buds. You have to get acclimatized to the general experience. It still tastes a bit like grass, but it's... Um, I think it's a, it's a small price to pay for what does genuinely make you feel better. I, and again, I was skeptical about this myself, and I know in my position I should just say, oh, this is gonna change your life, you need this. Oh my God, you're not taking greens. 
that isn't really how I work. I'm never going to try and sell someone something they don't need. But what I find from greens powders, which is not really what I anticipated, is um, it offsets my appetite. So usually I'll have a fairly big breakfast anyway, but mid-morning, you know, 12 o'clock before lunchtime, whatever it is, I want to eat things. And it usually means I reach for the closest protein bar, which is, you know, this is what I do, right? It's not the end of the world. But um, certainly eating this, I find myself craving less. And I, I've been thinking about why this might be. And um, uh, maybe it's, it's to do with the, the kind of refined, purified, uh, high quality, the, the sheer amount of nutrients, be it greens, probiotics, prebiotics, what have you, going into me makes my body think, oh, you know what, we're actually doing okay. We're kind of running on full. Whereas if I eat junk food or, you know, I just shove in, you know, white bagels or something like that, I'm not exactly getting the complete picture in terms of what my system needs. So something like this is just ticking all the boxes in abundance. It does actually make you not worry about eating. I, you know, it could be like a kind of serious version of the shreddies, keep hunger locked up till lunch sort of jam. But uh, I do find myself snacking less and just feeling more full and satiated on something like this. So I start the day with one of these as well. I'm shaking this like a maraca. I'll come back to that. Um, so greens powder, that's not just to say the Alani one. This is a fantastic greens powder. It is pricey, uh, but it's a very comprehensive one. So we're, we're going to look at other options as well. But from the wellness range from Alani, that's, that's kind of a big part of what they do beyond like the energy drinks and stuff. And um, this has got prebiotics, probiotics, antioxidant stuff in it. It's got greens, it's got reds. So by reds, we mean fruits as well. So you're, you're kind of hitting, uh, you're getting towards your sort of five a day and then some with this. Um, and what else do they put in? Um, probiotics too, so it's going to help with digestion. So whether or not it's breaking this down or helping you process things like dairy elsewhere in your diet, yeah, it, it kind of does everything. So it, if it's kind of a magic bullet as a one hit thing per day that's going to make everything run a little bit better, it's a fairly small price to pay and you do get used to the flavor and then the mixability and everything. So the Alani one's right up there. It's fantastic mixability, flavor, etc. for what it is, but there's a ton in here. So you have to bear that in mind. We are looking at the MTS greens. So he actually does, Mark actually does a flavored one, so an apple cinnamon one, and that should be a slightly lower price. It's not quite as comprehensive, but uh, yeah, again, very, very good product. That will make a tangible difference, I think, to your day if you're not taking something like this or you have a, a diet that's such a car, you know, car crash like mine. Um, and <sighs> what else? I mean, that's the main, the main takeaway on that was the, like feeling more satiated, feeling more full and, and kind of happy with life until mealtime, but also more awake. So I, I don't know if that's, again, just because I'm getting kind of real nutrition and I rarely get real nutrition, but short of reaching for monsters and energy drinks, I, I think I, I, I do feel more alert with these things. So this is maybe anecdotal and maybe circumstantial or whatever, but yeah, if you haven't tried one of these things and you can get your head around drinking what's a bit like pond water, uh, I think you might find it makes more of a difference than you think. It certainly made more of a difference than I think, than I thought. Um, so yeah, I, I, I thought this, this was a must. We're going to do more of their wellness bits. That was one of them. And um, I will say Ghost is doing greens as well, and they've got some flavors and stuff coming. So when Ghost greens come, you bet we're going to make a big song and dance about that. And I said, we, we have a few options in there, so it's not just one product. But that's in the mix now. And final one, I'm not going to go on about this excessively because uh, I'm obviously perfect and I don't need something like this, but hair, skin, and nails. So another cute one there. This is actually in pill form. We're not so big on pills, but what time am I actually? Yeah, I'm not too bad. Um, on pills, so they say reju uh, rejuvenates skin, promotes thicker, fuller hair, um, helps grow stronger, healthier nails. <laughs> So, I, yeah, I can't say I know much about this, but there's a whole mess of vitamins in there. Biotin as well, a load of biotin like you find in this. Um, and a probiotic blend. So it's got some joint things I'm used to seeing. It's got collagen peptides, which it says it's a vegan product. I'm guessing this is maybe plant-derived vegan collagen. I looked into this. It's a bit mad. I didn't know you could get vegan collagen, but it is harvested from specially grown, what was it, algae, I think? Um, so they, they, they can actually make plant derived stuff. It has to be, it has to be encouraged to grow so then they can harvest it, but it, it, it seems to be legitimate and vegan diets do tend to be deficient in collagen. So, uh, it, it is particularly beneficial for that almost. So if you don't eat the animal sort of byproducts and everything else, you actually do need to get it in from somewhere. So yeah, that's probably pretty cool. It says veggie capsules anyway. So, I mean, Alani always shoot for vegan wherever they can. Hence that's vegan. The BCAAs are plant-based. They're vegan as well. The pump's plant-based, um, and all the pills or, uh, always have that in mind and it's gluten-free 
And so, um, horse tail, blah, 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 I don't know. A lot of you guys may know more about this sort of stuff than me, crazy as that is given my position. Um, but uh, it's got a load of great reviews again, as indeed many of Alani's products have. We don't do anything else like this. If we're gonna do it from any brand, it would be from Alani. So we thought, why not let's bring that in? And um, it's, yeah, it's fairly mild. There's a good price on it as well. So we're going to, uh, for Alani, uh, we're going to add it to a sort of health and wellness stack as soon as I can find the time to do it. Uh, so it'll be this, it'll be the greens, and it'll be the multivitamins they do. So yeah, it's not our, our sort of standard fare in doing it, but they're all things that I think in combination will actually more than cover your kind of daily nutrition and dietary and kind of health needs. And um, yeah, it's good for guys and girls, I should say. I, I mean, the hair, skin and nails, probably more of a worry for um, girls than it is for guys. And indeed, Alani's more targeted in that direction. Uh, but yeah, everyone will get something from it. Um, otherwise, of course, there's just the, the greens on the side. So maybe I'll fiddle it and have this as an optional one. But either way, stack when it's up there will come with a shaker of your choice and stuff as well. So very cool. Um, and yeah, greens, I suggest you try those. So we've actually sold some already. They've already sold themselves. So pretty cool. It'll be something we'll be moving into a little bit more this year, along with some more nootropic stuff. So we've obviously got um, gamer kind of fuel things. So G Fuel will be doing um, probably a little bit more with, and we've got an option on a couple of new flavors, including a coffee one I've just been offered now. Um, so they've done a first kind of uh, in-game energy coffee flavor. It's French vanilla. I'm not sure there's a market for it. <laughs> That's my only worry, but I think it's their 40th flavor. So big landmark one, something new from them. But yeah, look out for that. And Ghost, again, coming back to my friends at Ghost, uh, they're doing Ghost Gamer. So this has been the works for a long time. It is now signed off. I'm very excited for that one coming in too. So this should be a great cognitive aid. So then we'll have the full-on legend. We'll have the stim-free pump. We will have the kind of fat metabolizing burn, uh, which I treat like a pre-workout, but I mean, it's obviously got a slightly more metabolic boosting effect on it, and it doesn't have, let's say, pump ingredients in, although it's got a mess of cool nootropics in, and they will have Gamer, which um, Dan's promise will have a few tricks up its sleeve. So I think they've got exclusive access to a couple of different flavors, at, not flavors, ingredients, and they'll be bringing the flavoring systems over, and yeah, it's gonna look cool as hell anyway. So yeah, that's coming from Ghost as well. So, okay, that's done. Um, Alani done, I'll drink more of that. Okay, big boxes here, you probably haven't failed to miss that, and again, these have been posted this week. Mm. These are a restock. So from Kodiak Cakes out in Utah. Um, we have got a brand that I've had in the mix since, and we looked this up, 2015. Stock has been incredibly scarce over the last couple of years. 2018, we did okay, 2019 basically died. We just couldn't get our hands on it. And 2020, it's nice to kick it off with it back in the mix. It was always popular for us. A lot of you guys are probably not in any way familiar with it. It is, it has a very striking uh, kind of prospect, uh, oldie worldy Americana uh, look to it. So I'll bring it in and you can see the bear growling on the front. Arr. So <laughs> yes, it doesn't taste anything grizzly like at all. Um, it, so it, yeah, it's great fun. Basically they do a whole mess of sort of breakfasty appropriate things. Uh, but the main one for us was always the power cakes. The power cakes were the protein boosted flapjack and waffle mixes, uh, AKA pancake mixes. So in America it would seem flapjacks always refer to the things we know as uh, pancakes. Um, so you can think of these as pancake mixes despite what the name seems to imply. And waffles, yeah, you can use the same batter in a waffle maker and you get the, the same. So a lot of you guys have probably tried that. Um, and the power cakes ones were the, the most kind of fit fam appropriate, I suppose, because of the boosted protein. So it's like 14 grams per serving. Uh, there are what is it, like 11 servings a box and blah, blah, blah. So pretty standard, easy enough to make. You can make it with water, probably better with milk. I think you can add sort of thickness if you want to chuck in eggs and stuff like that. But fundamentally, you can make it with water, follow the instructions, and they've got a bunch of flavors and stuff as well. So there's the buttermilk, that's the best seller, the sort of classic, the original one. So if you want to add stuff, fruit, and fiddle with it, that's the one to start with. But they have got uh, a dark chocolate that was always very popular and peanut butter. Uh, they've actually branched out now and we've got all the new flavors. So we've got almond, I wanna say poppy seed, almond poppy seed, right there. And we have got excitingly cinnamon oat. So big cinnamon fiend here. Uh, I was very pleased to get that one in. I always add cinnamon in these situations. So that's one that does it for me, brilliant. And we have got strawberry choc chip and we have got a sort of classic original choc chip. So not the dark choc chip, 
milk chop chip, basically. So all of those are in there right now, uh, and they have been flying out already, so there are so many in-stock notifications set up on this going back a couple of years uh, that people have swept in to do it. Fortunately, uh, and terrible, terrible pun, um, but we got bare, right? <laughs> so we, we got a lot of this stuff back in because I knew a lot of people were waiting for this and I'd love to keep it in stock for a bit. Uh, but yeah, back in the mix with a bang. So we, we actually hoped to have this Black Friday. It, it didn't happen, but 2020, uh, we've kicked off nicely with it. And we have not only new flavor, but we got some new flavors, but we've got some totally new things from them. Uh, in more practical terms, the first one, we've got some of their Oatmeal Unleashed. So again, with my cinnamon fetish, I've gone for the cinnamon flavor. We've only got this one for now. You can think of this as kind of Quaker oats, right? So it's got all the good health promises of Kodiak cakes, or at the time, um, and they've got uh, sachets inside. So there's six um, sachets, and you can mix up your uh, protein-infused flavored oatmeal in the sort of Kodiak cakes vein. You're used to things like this. It's a nice kind of uh, hack in terms of uh, making your oatmeal. Uh, some people enjoy the process, but we only got this one flavor of this uh, to actually try. Uh, but check it out. It's an okay price on it, certainly for an import product, and that is available now. More excitingly, and this is something I'm actually going to show you quickly, we have Bear Bite. So I put this one. Was it here? Yeah, bear bites. So oof, fucking bloody shakers. Oof, here we go. They're saying snack adventurously. When there's no telling what sort of adventure you embark on, keep Kodiak cakes bear bites by your side. So it, it, I'll be honest. It's obviously kind of geared up as a healthy lunch boxy style snack for kids. Uh, but damn, do they taste tasty? Do they taste tasty? Damn, are they tasty? Um, so it's graham crackers. So this is the one you see in s'mores when we get all the American products in. It's that kind of idea, sort of biscuity. Oh, it's sort of spice, cinnamony. So they're very small little biscuity, I don't know how else to say it for us here in the UK. Biscuity chunks, but they've got shapes on it. So that's like a bear claw. And then they're kind of like the biscuits you get with coffee. They're a bit like Lotus Biscoff. So it's that kind of texture, that kind of intensity of flavor. It does the same in your mouth. And we've got, oh, I've got all of them. And we've got bear as well. So very cute, obviously means sod all, depending on, you know, how they taste is obviously key. Ah, oh, Yes, I'm still recording, this is good. Mm, mm. It's very tasty, we have flavors. I'm just gonna hug these. Again, this box was full two days ago. We've munched our way through them. Everyone loves these. Um, they are, I mean, nutritionally, they're not gonna blow your minds, right? They are um, 120 calories for 15 pieces. Well, that's probably not bad, but you only get five grams of protein in that. <laughs> it has to be said, but the sugars aren't too bad on it. The fat's quite low. Uh, yeah, there's like egg whites and stuff in it. So, yeah, they're, they're, they're very tasty, incredibly Moorish, quite simple things. Um, we knew this would be a slight kind of out of left field product for the mix, but they were too cute not to do it. And having these things back, we wanted to have something new to play with. And these snacky things, they've got good reviews um, and yeah, good ingredients and everything as well. Ah, yeah, they're just very tasty. The cinnamon, there is honey and there is chocolate. So yeah, there's some of these for everybody. Uh, they are quite generous boxes. You, I mean, all of that's kind of full with the cookies. So they will last you a while. They are 15 pieces uh, for a serving and then you get about eight or nine servings a box. So yeah, there's quite a lot in there. They'll see you for a while, but you'll, you'll be surprised how more issues are, whether you're having a kind of binge watching Netflix session or you're just having them at your desk. You will find yourself crunching through here very, very quickly. Mm. Which I can't do now because I'm on film and I've already gone on too long. Um, they're all in mix now anyway. I think these are 750 uh, for the power cakes, so they'll last you a while. The biscuity things, I think, are 5.99 for the box. <coughs> yes, 5.99 for the box. And that's cool because it's, it's three flavors in one listing. So the bulk discounts will kick in as you jump between the flavors. If you, let's say, wanted to try the cinnamon, the honey, and the chocolate, you would get a saving, and it would be like 5.20 a box instead, or 5.50, whatever, it comes down. And um, the uh, cinnamon oak, that's in a listing of its own, and that's like 3.99, I think, 4.99. 450 maybe so yeah not not too bad they're all in the mix now great to have them back and oh okay that's that's nearly it for the new stuff the only thing i'm going to take you through now is blender bottle so let's lose the bear bites they're in the way 
there you go. Blender bottle, um, great quality shakers. We are, I'm trying to neaten things up a little bit for 2020. So I'm actually going through now, hiding things that have been out of stock for ages that should have been gone ages ago. We're phasing out certain products as well. So we're trying to focus on the things that we know do well. We know you guys love. And obviously to make room for new stuff too. Um, and yeah, Smart Shake, we've dabbled in for a while, but looking at the website, the listings are in atrocious shape. Uh, there's loads of things missing. I rarely worry about buying more of them. Yeah, it, it's um, yeah, it's a bit of a car crash. I do feel bad. A lot of people just, you know, who buys shakers, right? Because there are a lot of promo ones around. We ourselves give away a lot of shakers here and there with bundle deals and special offers. So, so the concept of actually, <coughs> sorry, sh selling uh, reasonably expensive shakers, good quality though they are, is uh, a little bit up in the air. I think many retailers have stepped away from it. For our part though, we've done some of our own shakers. I might do more of our own shakers. I might even do them blender bottle style like Ghost, but looking into blender bottle, I, I trust, I love the Ghost shakers. They're very leak proof. They have like a guarantee on them. Um, they come with the blender balls as well, which some people love, but they've got the handy loops. They're just very, very sturdy and reliable and they last for absolutely ages. So they're a good investment, but they also have fun with it. So, um, they do just for fun range. And I've taken you through some of these before. We got some of the Christmas range in, well, before Christmas, and they were well received. But I'll whip you through some of the ones we just got. So they're all up on the site now, at least they should be. The website's misbehaving right now. We've got Tropic Like It's Hot. So great standout colorway there with the pink and the green and the, uh, it's more of a summer appropriate one, but I loved the look of that. So very kind of 80s and over the top. Um, Donut Ever Give Up. So cute and pink, two-tone thing on top there, and cool logo. It's got, <laughs> we've got, let's taco about fitness, explains itself. We have got, uh, this is something we wanted before Christmas, didn't make it, Avocardio. Uh, this is now in the uh, V2 uh, classic loop style. So it has the rounded base on it, uh, which avoids lumps and stuff uh, building up. And it's got a slightly reworked kind of hook lid and it's, it's all a bit more rounded. I don't know beyond that. They're both a little sturdy as hell anyway. And <laughs> final one here. This is the color of the month. It's the 80s ski bum is what they're terming it. So this is the January color of the month. They have a color of the month club for people who collect them. Same as Ghost have a shaker of the month. It's that kind of deal. Blender bottle just like that. And um, yeah, we, we love the color scheme. It's very standoutish in 80s and neon and the rest of it. So yeah, very cool. Also, we've got a few other bits and pieces. We've got a full restock and we've got Day of the Deadlift. Um, it's like a, the Mexican sugar soul, uh, skull style design there in straight black in the classic loop shaker. That was really popular before Christmas, sold out in fact. We have their Radiant shakers, bit new from us, a little bit pricey, like 15 quid. Um, but these are more water bottle style shakers. They still come with the ball and everything, but very, very sturdy, kind of measuring scale on it, tough seals, nice rubberized finish. It's got a screw lid at the top. You don't want to actually open it so you can drink it like that. It's like a cocktail shaker. Um, and a few colors of that have come in, so check that out on site. We have got, also, final one, promise, we have got the blender, we used to have these on site actually, some of you may even remember. We have got the Pro Stack back. So um, these ones are sort of that style that comes with, God, it's incredibly sturdy. Um, little compartment at the bottom, and um, yeah, you can keep your protein shake in there or pills or what have you. You can leave it on or not, you can affix it there. Um, you can actually embed it in the thing if you want. You can actually get extensions for it. That's a different accessory we might look at doing, see how they go, but you still get the blender ball inside. Very, very sturdy. So you can just have the shaker like that. Um, and a load of good colors as well. So I think we've got six or seven colors we'll start with. Oh, oh, they're all on there. Oh, how are we doing? I'm still here, I'm still here. Um, so check it out. We're going to do more with Blender Bottle and more of their colors as they come in. And um, then we'll look at doing some more custom pick and mixy ones as well. But I just like the idea of doing one really good quality brand and working more closely with them and doing the fuller range. And then we become known for doing the Blender Bottles. And yeah, it's all great. But as long as they keep churning out the fun ones, that's going to keep catching my eye and um, short attention span and all. Uh, yeah, that, that'll, that'll keep it going for us. And we've always got something new to push each month as we get more colors and um, varieties in. Oh... Where are we at? <coughs> yes, okay, well it's nearly time for me to leave you alone. Mm. I think I've been through, oh I haven't, I always forget these guys. I might have to do this in more detail next week, um, but we have mixes in from Skinny Food Co. So yeah, no more sauces and flavors and stuff for right now, but they've been teasing these for a bit. We finally got them in, there go all the shakers. So we got low sugar choc brownie mix, we got choc chip cookie mix, I think there's a flapjack mix, there's a muffin mix, and there's a banana cake mix. Uh, so I think these are $4.99, so pretty good value. 
make quite big, generous batches, all incredibly low sugar, pretty low calorie as well. And um, uh, what else have we got? Vegetarian friendly, 91 calories, soy free, blah, 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 sugar wise. So all the usual skinny food coast style USPs and promises, but in fun mixes that you can make your own at home. I've made a massive mess. Oh no, oh no, oh no, end of the world. <laughs> So yeah, we've got those in too, and now I'm treading on my cable. Yep, yep, that couldn't be worse. Ah, I'm back, I'm alive. Um, so, I just hit the mic probably. Ah, that is about it. Um, I will say also, look out for the new week, as we've got massive launch on Monday, two massive launches in fact. Uh, first one, we've got Ghost Burn Pina Colada, a couple of tubs here. Um, so this is my personal stash in doing this. I love pina coladas um, <laughs> and singing songs in the rain and all that. And uh, yeah, we've been waiting for this one for a long time. Uh, we're the last to get it. Australia got it first, then America finally come here. Uh, so that was launched on the Ghost site in the UK on Thursday. <coughs> or was it Friday? Yeah, Thursday. They always do Thursday launches. Uh, and we have got it in as well. You will see it on site now. Um, so I was desperate to get my hands on this stock. And um, yeah, I, I confess, I haven't even... Uh, I've, I've had one serving so far. I haven't even formed a full opinion, but damn, it was very, very tasty. Anything cocktail themed, I'm a big fan of. And yeah, this is perhaps more of a summer appropriate flavor, but it's another win from Ghost. And I find it goes particularly well in the burn in that um, there is a slight pepperiness to the fundamental burn thing with the ingredients they've got in there. Obviously the, the bioperine black pepper extract, uh, but the Grains of Paradise has that sort of flavor as well. It's not, it doesn't actually burn, but you know there's a pepperiness to it. There's a kick to it. Same as with the mango, I find the fruity flavor and these uh, actually offsets it somewhat. So yeah, it's particularly good, big fan. Um, and also we've got a bit of a ghost restock. So we've got Watermelon Legend back. We've got Size Neutral back. We have got um, a restock on pump. We didn't get pineapple, which is a shame because it had gone well with this. Uh, so that might be a while before it's back in the UK because they're basically out in the UK. Um, and we got some of the vegans back. We've got peanut butter, cereal milk, certainly back up on site. Pancake batter, the delivery actually has gone missing somewhere, but we'll have some of that back early in the new week. But um, I will say this again as part of the uh, partnership we do with Ghost, uh, they have a very special once a year sale on whey protein and indeed the vegan protein kicking off on Thursday. So look at their social media, you'll see the advert. It's a buy one, get one half price across the entire range, mix and match, pick and mix if you will. Uh, and um, yeah, in a way this is taking business away from me, right? But this is something that they do as a marketing exercise more than anything else. So they make no money on it literally because the crazy deals because you can stack codes as well. And it's, it's a far better deal than we could ever hope to offer you, but they do it each year. Yes, as a way of giving something back, but it's also a great way to kind of share the products with you. So for people, or okay, you guys watching this have probably already tried Ghost, you know how good it is, but for people who haven't, it's a great way to coax them in. And obviously it's a thank you for the people who already love it, but for the new customers, it's something they think, oh, I can't resist this, such an amazing deal. Oh my God, this stuff's amazing. I'm happy to pay full price for it going forward the rest of the year, I love Ghost. So it, it does actually work well for them because the products are that good. So look out for this. Thursday it's hitting, uh, well, UK, uh, USA and Australia worldwide. They're doing this massive sale. So God knows how many units are going to go out. So yes, we're going to lose sales to that, but I'd really rather you guys try this stuff and fall in love with it. And then you can come and see us afterwards. Uh, <laughs> so it, yeah, it all works out well for, for all of us. So yeah, check their stuff out on Thursday and um, jump on the stock that's there. Once it's gone, it's gone. They have a lot, but they're expecting a lot to go. I should know because I tried to order more from them and they said, look, I'm really sorry. We've got to cover it for the customers. So yeah, you guys are going to nick stock I can get but I'd only be giving it back to you anyway, or selling it back to you. Um, so yeah, jump on that and take advantage of that sale. Once a year type thing, it is worth doing because prices for the, the, the way then are insane, and the vegan especially. And that's nearly it. I really need to shoot. Um, what else we've got? We've got finally, finally, Outright Bars coming. We've got the two vegan flavors. We've got the Toffee PB coming. Uh, I've been going on about these for ages and ages and I keep saying, oh, it's coming and then it doesn't, and it's coming and then it doesn't. Lots of problems here, lots of scarcity, partially thanks to the demand over in the States. We just can't get any actually exported. Mark has to service the domestic market. But finally, we've got tons coming in. Uh, so there's much to look out for. Don't you worry, we'll be making a big song and dance about these. Everyone should, don't be put off by the vegan thing. It's just the, the obviously maple base on that. So uh, from my point of view, I'm actually looking for that, looking forward to that even more than the honey. So they should be fantastic. Uh, and we've got these launched obviously new cookies and cream. So that'll be the next one up, probably a few weeks on that. But these three should be great as well. So we'll do a big surge on outright bars. They'll all be in the bundles and the rest. Uh, we should also have a bit of an MTS restock. 
and we might have one or two new SKUs as well. I, I sort of mentioned his greens, but um, keep an eye out on the site for that. We'll, we'll have uh, a couple of other items arriving, including, yes, the restock on some of the machine ways. So we've got mint cookies and cream, which is spectacular kind of Oreo cross with Cornetto experience. That's a delicious shake. We have got... Uh, regular chocolate coming back, I think, in both sizes. We should have small tubs of the triple choc, which will be the first time we've had those. They should go down very well. That's the, the super duper over the top chocolate experience with chocolate chips, cake pieces, and obviously a chocolate base on it. It's, it's a real winner. And we'll have some more red velvet back. Uh, so that's great. So yeah, MTS, that's reloaded back in the mix as well. Um, what else have I said? Yeah, Swalsom. Uh, Swalsom will got smashed the second it hit the site. Uh, the other day so uh, next time we've got it won't be this week it'll probably be the week after unfortunately so maddie's like uh, backed up after the big christmas demand thing but she is going to get us a full reload again we've got extra of the caramel shortcake vegan one that has ended up being a massive seller so that sold out first we have got a uh, pick and mix birthday cake that is coming back it's not disappeared uh, it was just missed off the last shipment so sorry about that but we've got the birthday cake coming back as well and we've got uh, samples coming imminently of two new flavors that's two new flavors uh, and uh, i think there'll be something else for valentine's day as well so that's about a month out so yes we'll be doing something with Swalsom, of course and we'll probably have some other promos and things going on as well but yeah before we know it it'll be the valentine's day thing and we need some lovely snacks to go with the day of love um and yes yeah, so that'll be a little while from then i think we've got some more uh, of um emily's muscle mugs coming back we've got a full restock on the flavors there and i know she's working on some new stuff uh, for the new year as well so look out for that before too long um and then finally yes in terms of other restocks got seven that's finally coming back so um, we have got all the chips coming back. We've got the protein snacky nacho ones coming back. Uh, they're favorites of mine. They're delicious. Um, I mean, these have got better nutritionals on them, but the, uh, yeah, I love those nacho style ones. We've got all the drops coming back, including butter biscuit. We just managed to snag some of those. We're very lucky. Thank you to the guys for releasing some. Uh, we have got all the sauces coming back. So we are out of a couple of flavors of those. Uh, so yeah, they are low, no calorie. They're not calorie free, but they are very low calorie sauces, uh, but they've got a very good texture to them. The flavor's good and there's some unusual flavors there as well. So all of those coming back. And we've got a whole new range of drops from them, in fact, that are a little bit close to the Frankie's drops, but hopefully in better supply going forward. So yeah, look out for those hitting the site and that'll be in the week. I think the palette is on the way at last. Um, so yes, Ghost Launch. Uh, is up on site now, so jump over and grab a tub of the uh, Pina Colada Burn, you'll love that. And um, we've got uh, a huge launch we'll be doing <coughs> right in on Monday morning. Uh, so uh, yeah, keep an eye, I can't say any more right now, a little bit hush-hush, uh, but that'll be very cool, so it's a good kickstart into the year. And we have got PhD Smart Cakes coming, and we don't even know much about these, but they will be in imminently as well. So I think you'll find the details on the website right now, but that's the latest thing in the PhD Smart range. So very cute, fun flavors, interesting nutritionals, very uh, unusual, I've not seen anything else like that uh, for a while. Um, and probably a whole bunch of other stuff I can't even remember at the moment. I think there's a new Trust Crunch bar lurking out there, maybe chocolate cherry, um, ugh, tons of stuff. Uh, the year has uh, properly, properly begun. So anyway, I will catch you for a weekly roundup next time, folks. It should be next weekend. I've certainly got stuff to cover. Um, but I am actually going to, usually I do on Saturday. I think I'm seeing Slipknot in London on Saturday. So it should be an interesting experience. Uh, so I will try and find time to do a video around about that. It might be the Sunday, which means it might go up Sunday evening instead of the usual Sunday morning kind of Saturday night deal. Uh, but you'll see me again anyway, because there's going to be tons to go through. And I don't want them all to be this long. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching. And I will see you next week. Have a good weekend, guys. Bye for now. <laughs>